let's take a look at controlling, or I'm sorry, comparing two arrays, okay? So I'm going to make a my first array, and I'll make that equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm going to copy that line and paste it, and I'm just going to rename it second array. Now what you can't do is do something like this. Create an if statement and say first array is the same as second array. Right? So let's make this lowercase so that we keep with good naming conventions. Actually we just copy and paste this. throw a statement here this the same so if we run this notice we get no output and the reason is what we're comparing here is the memory addresses this is also why we did not get the same um, what's it called this is why we also did not say get the same uh, get an output because the memory addresses of these two arrays are not the same so if we want to check what's inside of our array we have to actually go through the index so one way to do this is we always want to build a catch or a, some sort of um, Boolean uh, statement or variable that will help us, uh, that will set it to true or false. This is something we do a lot in games too. Um, it's kind of like a secondary check to see if it's true or false we want to set this. So I'm just setting if my arrays are equal, I'm going to set it to true right off the bat. And what I want to show you, because we went over for loops before, is the while loop. So we're going to, with a while loop, you set your index right off the bat. So what I'm going to say here is um, we're going to go through and compare each element in the array. Okay. So while our boolean is set to true, right? That means that they are the same. And our index is less than our first array's length, we're going to cycle through our arrays. We're going to check each element in our array. So what we can do is throw that if statement in now. And what we want to do is we need to increment this index that we created up here. So I'm going to type index plus plus. And look at the location I'm placing it. I'm pl putting it outside of this if statement because we want this to continuously run every time we go through the array till the end of the length of the first array. So we're going to keep checking each element. So let's go with, let's grab our first array and we'll plug in our index, which is at zero. And what we're going to say is long as that is not equal to our second array index. Let's copy that. Let's copy this. So the second that these are not the same, right? Zero and zero are not the same. We're going to grab our catch all and we're going to set that to false. Okay. And then what we can check outside of our, our while loop is we can check if our arrays are equal. So a shorthand way of writing, instead of having to write is the same as true, is just write arrays equals equals true like that. It'll signify it. If our arrays are true, right? Let's do this again, sys out. Arrays are equal. And then what we can do here, else, and I'm going to grab this and just drop the word not in there. Arrays are not equal. So let's run this. And we get arrays are equal. And that's because they are equal. And as we're running through each element in this array, if you want to see it go through each element, you can grab uh, sys out in here. I'll just drop one of these in. And you can see it cycle through each element.
If you want to get really fancy, you can do first array index and run it through, and you can see how that looks. Like we have, oh, forgot my plus sign here. Arrays are equal. And, oh, you know what it is? We forgot to, um, let's drop this up here. They are they are equal, so it's or they are this would never run within our while loop. So what we can do is drop this outside of here and run it. There you go, and you can see what's stored in each index as it cycles through. Yeah, it didn't run in here because this only runs if one element is not equal to the second. If we put it in there, it would have caught the element that was not equal.